Good morning and assalamu alaikum class. How are you all? This is your English literature lecture and I am your English teacher Anam. So with our, today we will start new chapter and its name is Leather. It is on page number 100 of uh, 119 and it is in read now. Okay, so let's start reading. So first of all we will mention classwork and after that date which is 7, 12 and 20. Your chapter number is 20. And your topic is leather. So what comes to your mind when we talk about leather? Leather, obviously it comes from the hide or skin of the animals. Okay, we use different accessories made from leather. So let's start reading. There is nothing like leather. This is the boost of the shoemaker. Boost, when someone talks proudly, it is called boost. When someone talks proudly, it is called boost. Have you ever wondered why leather, uh, where leather comes from? That tough, yet soft and hard wearing stuff which has so many different uses. So I already told you in the start of the chapter that where the leather comes from. Leather is the skin, the hair, fur or wool removed. Leather is the skin from which hair, fur or wool is removed. Nowadays, nowadays the skins of many different kinds of creatures such as the cow, horse, sheep, goat, deer, buffalo, antelope, walrus, lizard, snake, crocodile and even the shark are used to make the leather. The skin of the larger animals are called hides. I am going to share the picture of this hide skin and many other things at the end of the lecture. And those of the smaller animals are called skin. When we take off skin of the larger animals, it is called hide. The first thing to be done is to remove the skin as carefully as possible. If there is a slight cut in the skin, it will be useless. Okay, so the skin is removed very carefully so that it comes off in one whole piece. The fleshy side of the skin is rubbed with salt in order to prevent the decay and then it is sent to a leather factory or tannery. The fleshy side, the side on which we, uh, there is flesh attached with skin is rubbed with salt in order to prevent from decay, decay, destruction or destroyed. It is rubbed. Um, salt is rubbed on that part to stop it from decay and it is sent to other uh, uh, to a factory leather factory or tannery the leather factory is also called tannery at the tannery the skins are cut to remove all the useless parts and thrown into large tanks of salted water called brine at the tannery at the leather factory uh, factories the skins are cut there are so many useless parts like tail and uh, uh, other parts of the skin. It is cut and then it is thrown or dipped into the large tanks which is filled with water, uh, salted water which is called brine. Here they are left for two or three days to be softened and cleaned. Water, uh, sorry, salty, salted water has that effect that it will be softened and clean and when you soak it something into the water it will become soft and clean when the skins are taken out they now turn the page are put into a machine which cuts away all the remaining bits of flesh there is a machine where from uh, in which when the skin goes it cut all the small pieces of flesh from the skin the skin are next placed into a tank containing lime which loses the hair, fur or wool. Obviously you know that animal skin also contain uh, hair, fur or wool. When they dip it into the lime, it loses or it goes the hair, fur or wool removed from the skin. From there they are placed in a machine which easily scraps off the hair or wool and splits the screen, uh, skins into two sheets. After that if there is remaining any other thing, it is also uh, scraps. Uh, sorry, it is also placed in a machine from which easily scraps of the hair. The hairs are taken away. Hair wool are taken away, and the uh, skin is slip, uh, splits into two sheets. Means divided into two sheets. The hair side is called green leather, 
and the flesh side is called suit leather. The skins are now ready for tanning. Tanning, the meaning of tanning is coloring. The purpose of tanning is to make the skin soft yet tough and proof against water. When we tan the skin hide of an animal, it means that it will be tough and waterproof. This is done by hanging them in tanks of water containing a brown dye, usually oak bark. Brown dye which is made of oak bark. Oak is a tree. Uh, sorry, oak is a tree, you know that. The skins pass through several of these tanks, each one with a stronger mixture than the one before. To make soft leather such as kids, chemoise and buckskins, the tanning is done in oil and the surface rubbed with emery. So what is emery? Emery is a denoting material coated with emery for it is used for polishing, smoothing or grinding. Grinding, okay. The skins are next dried, oiled and ironed by large heavy rollers. They have very big rollers to iron the skin. At last, we have fine sheets of leather which are sent to factories to be made into different kind of things. And it is costly, such as boots, shoes, jackets, chair overs, purses, pouches, school bags, handbags, suitcase, uh, gloves, horse harness, bicycle saddles, footballs, dog collars, and even ties. Where we use these leather, we use leather in many things. There, these are the examples for boots, shoes, jackets, etc. So this was our topic for today. Now I am going to share a picture of some things I have searched and find out. As you can see in the picture, it is the uh, skin of a giraffe. And you know that this giraffe, is it, its skin is called hide because it is a large animal. Its skin is called hide because it is a large animal. This is the skin of an elephant. Obviously, elephant is a large anif uh, animal and its skin is also called hide. This is the skin of a deer. Deer is a small animal, so its skin is called skin. Because it is a smaller animal, so its skin is called skin. This is a leather factory and it is a tannery. Okay, now I am going to show you brine this is called brine and these are also this is the process of tannery where different hides or skins goes from one tank to another as you can see that this is uh, of brown color and it is made of oak trees and we, are, we have many uh, this type of tanks here okay so this was the process for today and this was your lecture for today if you have any kind of problem you can contact me take care Allah Hafiz